This project started out as a quarter, then had a router added, which worked fine. But the moving gantry had some flex in it, which reduced its accuracy, so I'm going to add an extra cloned motor to the x-axis. NEMA 17 stepper motor, motor mount, and A4988 driver board. 5 to 6 millimeter diameter coupling, M6 threaded bar. Jumpers. A bearing for the lead screw end support. 50 millimeters by 3 millimeter thick aluminium angle. Sheet of 4 millimeter thick aluminium plate. 6 millimeter thick brass bar for the lead screw nut. And finally, some nuts, bolts, and screws. Started off by marking out all the holes with a centre punch, then cutting out with a hacksaw and cleaning the edges with a file. Centre drill all holes, drill through all holes 3.2mm. Lubricate an M4 tap and tap the required holes. Drill 5mm clearance holes for the wood screws. A quick deburr with a larger drill. and countersink for the wood screw head. The finished motor support plate. I also made a bearing support bracket, a lead screw nut support bracket, a lead screw brass nut, and two little plates to hold the bearing. Next I added another A4988 driver board to the spare A socket on the CNC Shield V3. Make sure the power is off or you will fry the board. And added two jumpers to set the cloned axis to X. Followed by the NEMA 17 stepper motor connection. I gave it a quick test to check all was working correctly and it was. Then I assembled all of the new components into the cloned X-axis starting with a motor mount. Added the stepper motor and fixed it to the 18mm marine ply baseboard using four wood screws. The lead screw nut holding bracket Added the M6 lead screw, which with a one millimeter pitch and 200 steps per revolution, gives a five micron movement per step without using micro stepping. Attach the bearing to the bearing support bracket with two little plates and two M5 bolts with nylon nuts. Then fix the bearing support bracket to the baseboard with four more wood screws. Ran the CNC machine along its full length on the x-axis to check it was functioning correctly. For my next project I will be making through hole PCBs using a 0.8mm carbide cutter and my homemade spindle using a 540 RC buggy motor as built in a previous video. If you've made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe or check out my website and I will catch you in my next video.